Hey guys, Latif Kadri, BDG Insider. Quick tip of the day. Um, had somebody recent, re recently reach out to me and ask me, you know, if you're a new salesperson, you know, what are some of the things you can do to build your book of business? And of course, you know, I always recommend you get to your sales manager or BDC manager, your GM, GSM, whoever the decision maker is, find out an or orphan owner list, salespeople that have blown out, if you could take over their customers, follow up. Um, you know, previous life when I was running a dealership, whenever we brought in new salespeople, we had them write down 30 people they knew and made them call every one of them, set an appointment to come in, if for nothing else, just to walk them through the dealership and give them a tour. And we always found a few deals that way. But I'll tell you what, the tried and true and whenever I left one store and went to another when I was, you know, when I was slinging rides, I would always marry up to the most successful service advisor. I'd find out the guy that, or gal, that was writing the most number of tickets every month. And I didn't care what they were, whether they were, you know, oil change, one line ops, whatever they were. But I always made sure to marry up to them and get them on the bird dog program. And some dealerships are out on having a sales department, spiffing a service department. But let me tell you something. As a salesperson, when I worked in an environment like that, I went into my pocket and did it myself. And I didn't do it on the come like, hey, if you send this to me, I'll do this for you. I'd go in there day one, make friends, say hello, buy them lunch, do the deal. Make them my best friend. If they need help with anything, I'm their guy or on the front end. Um, and I'll tell you something, you know, it, it worked. You know, I always find myself picking up three, four deals a month because, you know, you figure the average service department's going to write 40, 50 ROs a day. They've got, you know, maybe two, maybe three service advisors. You know, so find that person that's doing the most amount of volume, you know, and, and friend up with them. It's going to help keep you busy. It's going to get your pipeline full quickly. Um, you know, and of course, I always recommend, you know, being in the service drive, being in the service department waiting area, you know, making friends. You know, now some of these dealerships that are so monstrous and big and have such high turnover of salespeople, you know, they've got these big BDCs that run the show. You've got to be over in that environment in the service department because outside of taking a fresh up or working your personal book or maybe leveraging social media, that's the best way to get a hold of a customer that's already familiar with your product, already trusts the environment that you do business in, trusts your brand, trusts your store, um, you know, because they're bringing the car back, you know, regardless of where they bought it, they're there. Um, so you've already overcome that, you know, potential objection. But I'll tell you, you know, I, I'll name names here. There was a guy by the name of Skip Sage who at Bill Heard Chevrolet was the number one salesperson east of the Mississippi for General Motors Chevrolet brand selling 50 to 70 cars a month. And let me tell you something. He was a one-man show with an assistant that ran back and forth and did some of his, you know, demos and test drives and stuff like that. But this cat, his, he had his own little mini sales department, but it was over in the service department, in the service drive, where every day he was getting an opportunity to talk to two or three people. You know, so think about this. If you had a shot to speak to two to three people a day, right, that were referred to you, because remember, the customer already trusts the brand store, you know, and the service advisor, so that when they TO that customer to you, there's already that built-in trust, you know, that you could probably put something together. So if you talk to an extra three ups a day, you know, five, six days a week over the course of a 20-something day month, you know, you're going to have opportunity and you're going to make something happen. You know, and a lot of times these people, you know, they've already been accustomed and attuned to the dealership environment, so you could really make some big money. Money on these people so really get your head in the game network in the dealership you know make friends with everybody you know just don't be don't be the salesperson that goes and just sits in the front end and does their thing in the coffee clutch you know network in the dealership environment too I'm not saying that they're gonna buy a car from you but the people that have interaction with customers those are the people you want to have as your friends you know people in the parts department you know the guy at the parts counter desk you know the customer the customer uh, the guy that interacts with the customers you know and of course you know uh, you know, just obviously, you know, shake every hand you can shake. You know, that's it. Everywhere you go, bring a business card. You know, when you're out and about, bring a business card and talk to people. You know, if you're in the sales business, you know, the more touches you have, the more opportunity you're going to make. You know, networking is a contact sport. So uh, get out there, sell like hell. I wish you the best.